What is something that excites you about the future? Well, I think, you know, as we said, this idea of going into this golden age of sample return is something that's so exciting. And I work at a natural history museum, a natural history museum in London, and our museum's full of these samples that have been collected over the centuries. So we have eggs that were collected by Charles Darwin, and we have rocks that were collected by Ernst Shackleton when he was exploring Antarctica. Kind of this huge kind of resource of different collections from our planet. And what I hope for the future is that in centuries to come, our descendants will be taking their kids around museums where they can see, you know, the first rock brought back from the Martian surface or the first bug that was found in Europa. And um, yeah, hopefully be a bit more kind of uh, thoughtful about any ethical issues of uh, collecting stuff from all over the place. But however, you know, having this amazing resource that I hope will both inspire young people, but also can be used to address scientific questions. So as another example, the collections that were brought back in the 17th century that are now in the museum, there are plants that were brought back then, which are now used to look at how biodiversity has changed over the last 100 years or so. And of course, that's a question that the scientists that brought these to the museum would not have even thought about. It wouldn't be on their radar at all. And in the same way, you know, I hope that the sample from Bennu and all of the other exciting missions that are going to bring back materials will also be used for things that we haven't even thought about yet. 